let's continue now with the PFR in series. So this is not so impressive as the CSTR. Actually, we're going to see that it's kind of boring. In this case, the distribution is exactly the same. So either you have one or two, you will always add up the same total volume. And I give you first this uh, notation in math. So probably you are familiar with the integral. You know the integral from A to, let's say, C will be exactly the same that the integral from A to B and then add up the integral from B to C. Okay, so that's the, the, the idea. This is one reactor and this is the other reactor or the total reactor, let's say reactor 3. So you can see it's only addition, so it's not that impressive. Now let me give you an example more like into reactor engineering. You start with zero and let's start with eight. You got this value here inside and the differential of conversion. So you could break it from zero to point two and from point two for point zero. And since you are calculating the area under the curve, it will not change. So you will have just split them in two, but the value will be the same. And you can do it three times if you wish. Now 0 to 0.8, now 0 to 0 0.3, 0 0.3 to 0 0.6, 0 0.6 to 0 0.8. And what, the, what did I just do is I got three reactors, but I'm having the same volume as if I will have one reactor. So you can see it more graphically. It's not that impressive. I tell you this is one reactor. You have all the area under this curve. Now, this will be two reactors, this area and this area here, or three reactors. We are still speaking about the same total value, which is this one. So you can have as many PFRs you want and you will still have the same value. So why would you do that? You don't need to do that. Maybe because you have not space, not that much space. You don't want to, maybe you want to do one in one room and the other in one room so you can analyze them or maybe you don't like working with huge units whatever the case the volume is going to be the same and I bring you this exercise but I'm going to drop it for the next video What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.